Hey everybody! Oh, you gonna grunt more? Yes. All right. Hey everybody! It's uh, Jackal and and Player Two and Player Two. Uh, it's, it's Chris and Miles. Um, I have the demo here for uh, a game that I actually got to play at SGC. Uh, I spent like an hour at the booth, um, and because of it, I didn't get to do everything I wanted to uh, before the vendors room closed. But I was having a lot of fun. Um, it's this really interesting co-op shooter. Um, I talked to the guys, told them I wanted to help it if I could, uh, make a video or something to get some awareness, because they are kickstarting. Um, right now the kickstarter's not looking too good, they only have a couple days left and they still have a ways to go, um, but at least to put this on your map, because they're also on Steam Greenlight, and it looks like they're going to get on Steam Greenlight. Um, but what's incredible about this, they've only been working on this game, uh, when I was at SGC they said they've been working on it for two months, and uh, it's astounding how good it is. So. Let's get into it. Um, first off, it's four-player co-op. It will be drop-in. Oh, you took first player spot. Okay, so oh. Aldo's machine gun, which is kind of your Hit standard. That. You can take it. I don't. I'm oh. second now. It <laughs> you have to be second. All, All right. right. It just. I, I don't really care. Better. Oh, see, most people can actually can't pick the same character. It's um maybe. Oh, maybe actually. No, it's it looks like I can. Yeah, it does look that way. Um, um when I first played, I played as Shelby. I used a shotgun, um, which is I, I like a lot. The rocket launcher is hard to do by yourself. Um, I, I tried playing the demo by myself a little bit, actually, and it's not at all balanced for single player. It's definitely, the more people you have, the easier it is. They said that they are going to balance it once it's, you know, finished, but two months. Yeah. <laughs> two months step time. <laughs> all um, right. Are you going to go shotgun what, what again, or? Uh, I like the shotgun, and I like the machine gun. Uh, um, I'll do, I guess I'll do either shotgun or rock launcher, depending on what you want. Okay, in that case, I'll take machine guns and pick whatever you want. Okay. All right. So your shot. Okay. Another it's got room, a great sense of humor. I'm actually going to turn off the music. The music oh, is I fantastic, just... though. Oh, the range. Okay. Limited range. Duly it's a, noted. It's a shotgun. Yes. Um, duly noted. I <laughs> completely forgot to uh, turn off the... Yeah, don't let them hit you. You have three You have three hits. You see in the top left, we have two meters. Uh, the blue one is our energy. Level down? The red is our life. Yep, level down. So every time you fire a shot, you use some of your energy. And um, as you build up energy, your weapon gets better. And it levels up and becomes more effective. So what's interesting about this uh, about this game is that it's a it's there a shoot 'em up, but since but you you can't just fire the entire time. Um, if you do, you're gonna have a very weak weapon, and life is gonna get very difficult. Whoa! Stay close. Stay stay. All right. Um, I'm down. Damn it. Come okay, on. we're both at level one. That's good. When you get to level three, your weapons are goddamn insane. But it's really hard to stay at level three because that's when you're using. Right, I'm level two. Oh, shit! Did shit. I die? Yes, I you died. Did. Um, okay, there's some health over there. Let me see if I can get to it. Nope, there we go. So this is a hard-ass game. Right. Um, All right. I was focused more on, like, conserving shots uh, and trying to level up as opposed to staying alive. So this Staying time, alive is, yeah. Um, so it's But this is a great difficult. opportunity to uh, try out the rocket launcher. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we should go then. Rocket launcher and laser are really awesome. Um, but, God, you need cover. Especially with laser. Rocket launcher has an area of effect, so you want to fire it into mobs, which I mean should be I mean, that's should be you know standard knowledge. Yeah. Red red crates are health, blue crates are energy. White crates are a waste of ammo. What's really cool about this um, is like I I always enjoyed oh shoot I know I'm, I know I'm, I never come off as like a huge shooter guy, um, but just, I um, <laughs> but I love like old arcade shoot 'em up games. I think they're a lot of fun. Smash TV. I I'm think a huge fan of Smash TV. Smash TV is fantastic. My favorite part of Rage, and Rage was horribly disappointing for me, um, was the <laughs> Smash TV reference, like the mini game that was like a 3D recreation of Smash TV. Yeah. So with the rocket launcher, when they get close to you, you're in fucking trouble. So I'm just. Don't, I, don't, don't let that I really just can't destroy this box in my life. There we go. Rocket launcher. When you yeah. When you're weak. Uh, when, when you start off, the rocket launcher. Um, like the weapons, is horrible. All right. The weapons scale in different ways. Rocket launcher doesn't do tons of damage until you get it leveled up, because it, its big thing is I'm area of effect and range. Um, but once you get it leveled up and you're firing like three rockets at once and they like, they do a lot of damage. Shit. 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 crates or something. Oh, you got health. See there. You yeah. Go. Weird. Ball is terrible at this game. Yeah, we are. So far, so far, so good. Damn, we are bad. Oh, you're oh, in. Oh, I'm back. I'm back. Oh, I died. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Take my, take my crystals. <laughs> More or less. Oh, God. It's, we need better weapons. This, this is the thing. is It gets really hard. There's the exit. No, I'm in. I don't, I don't care. Just run out. Just run out. Get out. Just get out. Oh, my God. <gasps> Are you not <gasps> <gasps> Just keep going, keep going right. Keep going right. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. 
<laughs> so they're still they're still working out a couple Get bugs. Crystals. Uh, they said. Get more crystals. We we each got level two, so that's We're something. Level one, yeah. Yeah, we just got. We started out as level zero. It's, what's also cool is um they start shooting things at you, no. and um <laughs> it so it combines <laughs> elements of like a kind of a zombie herd zerg rush kind of game, along with uh bullet hell, especially as you get into like the higher difficulties. When I when I was playing, I played with two of the devs, so obviously I mean they were pretty good at it. Um, get these ammos. I mean the crystals. I played with two of the devs and then another guy, and we got up into the twenties. And it gets crazy hard up there. Huh? I swear I get worse at this game as I go on, too. There's a door. There's a door there. I didn't realize there was a door there. One thing I find is kind of helpful is to use the crates Come to on. funnel them. Whoa! I leveled down. Also, I died. Yeah, I got a Thermopylae to bitches. <laughs> that's that's the strategy. Yeah. Oh, oh, Jesus. You're oh, so Jesus. Honest. Let me in! Ah, I, I leveled down. Just as I get out. Jesus Christ. I'm, I'm oh. humped, bro. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. No, no, you're fine. You're fine. Don't worry I'm about so it. dead. Don't worry about it. No, you're Look fine. at it! Ah! You're fine! Ah! I'm back! <laughs> <laughs> Survive ah! eight seconds. Ah! <laughs> it's five, oh my God. four, three, two, one. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm in! <laughs> it, it was funny because, as you see, this is actually the first time I got recognized for my YouTube work. Um, yeah! By, by one of the devs as I appro as like went up to the to the stall. Which is really funny. And he was like... As, as we were playing, and we were tense, <laughs> as things were playing, we were getting intense. I was like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not as... I'm not as family friendly as I seem like on the channel. <laughs> and he, he's like, yeah, I was like, he's like, in the first five minutes, I was like, oh my god, he swears. It's <laughs> like, yeah. Uh. <laughs> um, I guess I'll go back to shotgun. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the laser just so we can see it. We're gonna do terrible on this run. Should I do shotgun and laser? Should I do a machine gun? No, instead? do shotgun. Do shotgun. Okay. Do shotgun. All right, good. It's fun. It's, uh, it's a zombie style. This is probably okay. Tip, don't get hit. These are oh. things that they actually like added. They were programming it at like the conference, like the day before. Um, I, I, I played Nice. It. Already took a damage. This this bodes well. There we go. What builds well? Bodes well. Oh. Uh, my I had already gotten hit. I, I was like I was like yeah the shotgun actually does build really well as, as it levels up it's fantastic. See look at how good the laser is though like if they're all in a line, <laughs> you just like mow them down. So like that's when the laser is most effective. When they actually get in and they're um and they're all spread out, you're, <gasps> you're in trouble. Uh, the laser gets thicker. As uh, as it levels up. No, I leveled down. Come on. What do we got? Uh, at least um, I'm still level yeah, but I like one. It, it incorporates elements of uh, you know, Smash TV, which is really obvious. Uh, but then also, like, if you ever played like Raiden or another one of those like side scroller shoot 'em ups, a lot of them I'm dead. a lot of them have uh, like an upgrade system. But it's it's different because it's like, oh, you get level one of this weapon, and then you can change to this weapon. Get all those crystals. Oh, I'm in. <laughs> you got white shot. You're level two. Yeah, that's how many crystals were there. That's why I was... Yeah, let's you're, go. You're going to terrify him. Okay, cool. I got level one. Uh, enter waiting room text. So it's got like this tongue-in-cheek kind of humor. The sound effects and uh, and music, we can't, we can't hear them right now because I didn't think to put in headphones. Um, and I don't want it to get onto the mic. Okay, level two laser. Look how big this shit is now. Dope. Uh, how Over am I? Here. I'm still level two. The problem with the laser is it's hard to pick up the... Um, oh, the coming afterwards. in behind us. Jesus. All right, Kay. line him up. Yes! With the laser, you want to, like, hurt him into a line, and, uh, then just fire off one shot. They'll take out a bunch. Oh, no. All right. Shit. Still level two. Spacer beam! Um, so, yeah, you can, you can stick it out and try to, uh, try to get all the crystals, or you can, um... Dip and run for it? Yeah, you can, or you can live. Shit, I got, um, <gasps> I thought I could go around that. You know, we might actually be able to take everybody out here. Yeah, it looks like we can. It's looking pretty solid. Oh, there I go. Shit. Right. Oh, shit. Don't, don't I didn't realize them. there was um, baddies there. They were hidden underneath that arrow. Yeah, that, that might be something they should fix, actually, is make those transparent. Yeah. All right. Um, um, this is still a work in progress. Like, there's already health. changes. Let's go. There's already changes to this game. Oh, we should have gotten them. Damn. Tip, 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 tip. There's already changes to this game from when I played at SGC that Crystals. I'm realizing. Crystals. Uh, for example, when I played at SGC, when you died, you didn't respawn. Um, what would happen is you wouldn't come back until they got to, uh, until they got into the next room. So you come back in the next room. Um, and also, if you died, you'd come back at level zero. You wouldn't keep your levels. Wow, my gun is so pretty So it, it was actually way two. harder when I played at SGC. And I think this is actually good for balance. Uh, because it was a little too unforgiving, especially... There we go. Uh, I'll try and clear Shit. these guys off your back. No, I, like, I'm funneling them into here. And then I'm, uh... Did I die? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I know, but like you, shit, falling from both directions wasn't super effective. You yeah, are you're really not bad with that laser gun. 
<laughs> no, like I like the laser. It's just it's really hard if you don't have a full squad. Yeah. Um. Um. How, how long have we been going? We've been going for about ten minutes. We'll do a couple more rounds. Cool. Uh, about, I think I'll try machine gun this time. About five ten minutes. I gotta stop and uh, go to that callback. All right. Oh Jesus! You're doing machine gun? Yeah. I'll do shotgun. Let's do classics. Heard. So you be you be ranged. I'll get up close. Let's hear it for room number zero. It's good um, crystals. So yeah, it's it's astounding. Like these guys. I'm, when, I'm, I, when I heard when I heard this was um, when I heard this is only working on for two months, drove, like it really surprised me because this is actually like an insane level of polish. Um, like I think like honestly these aesthetics, like the aesthetics, these these are final game aesthetics. Like, yeah. Today. Like if, if it launched and it looked like this, I, I think it would look fine. Yeah. Um, it feels really nice. Like the movement rate is nice. It feels fluid. Uh, um, everything's really responsive. Finally, level one. Shit. Sweet, I went to level two. Yeah, shotgun's pretty easy to level up with because because you're really close to the crystals. Yeah, it's just also risky because you're right next to them. Yep. Um. Oh, I should tell you about the different classes of robots. Okay. Oh shoot. Okay. So the yellows. Every machine gun. So the yellows are basically your zerg. Um. Like they just they just run at you. Crystals. Um, crystals. Crystals. Oh, get that box of crystals. Yeah. Level three. Spread storm. Um. Uh, one second. Sorry. Yeah, it's got insane. Oh, actually, we you get up to full health when you go oh, to the really? next room. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh. Heard. Yeah, everybody, everybody comes back at full health. Shoot in the general direction of robots. Thank you. Yeah, all this uh, stuff, all this stuff was added. Um, oh, <laughs> um there, I think there's one that was like tutorial text not available in Russian or something like that. They got like a great sense of humor, um, which is one of my favorite things about it. Is they, they're just like a really cool, like the like they're very down to earth. Oh, the red guys explode. Like, yeah, red, yeah, reds are bombs. Uh, blue guys will shoot. And then we're gonna get into shinies soon. I think they actually were a couple shinies, which are, are basically the, no. yeah the purples are shi are basically shiny yellows. They will run straight at you, but they do it faster. Ah, got it. Okay, see those guys over on the top right? Good. Right, right it. now we're hurting them against that wall. Unfortunately, they're right next to where we need to go. That's okay. I'm gonna respond in one second, and I can kill all the bitches. All right, all right. No man, get, get, one get, second. Get those. <laughs> These crystals that no crystals. robots are near. So it's cool. It's like there's there's a bit more. It, it's more stressful to me because there's like resource management in a shoot 'em up, which is interesting. Shoot 'em up is always like unlimited ammo and everything, which I mean it is, and you can totally get through it just shooting the entire time. Let's go. But it's a hell of a lot easier if you're careful and you pick your shots. Oh, quit being a casual gamer. Thank God. I was worried. Oh, right now they max out at level three. Oh, okay. And they actually fixed the glitch that was at uh that was at SGC. Good on them. Cool. Um, at SGC. You would uh, your crystals would fill up past the max, and so you could get like thousands of crystals and then like be in level three like forever basically. Um, but here they have it actually maxed out so that you can't just. Uh... Oh, it's really hard to keep level three shotgun. Uh, it's really hard to keep level three. Everything. Okay, see that? Did you see that purple? Yeah. That was a shiny. Yeah, I was. I was intimately acquainted with these one of reds. these. Reds. I don't. I don't remember all these reds from before. Jesus. How Level did I down. survive? I'm dead. Holy fuck. Oh, there I go. This game is hard as balls. All right, yeah. let's do at least one or two more rounds. Uh, God, I love this game. It's fun. All right. Um, I'm gonna. Mm, what do you want to go? I don't know. I well, guess. What I, are you even tried laser. Yet, I haven't right? tried laser. Might as well do it. <laughs> go laser and rocket. <laughs> <laughs> let's make this quick then. All right. Um, they are gonna do a campaign. They were talking about what they want the campaign to be. It's gonna. They're saying it's gonna be like a really uh, tongue-in-cheek kind of um, kind of cheesy story. It was great. What was fantastic is I was talking to them about like all kinds of just different games. And, like they're very well versed in terms of aspects of different games. And just like we're thinking about adding this, kind of like how it works in this game, and uh, just all the plans they have. Like they're planning on adding like special weapons, side weapons, and stuff. Like this is the very core of what the game is going to be, and I think it's an incredibly solid core, especially for two months of work. A green. Um, what the fuck is a green? <laughs> oh, greens are shiny blues, I believe. Okay. Or no, are greens shiny yellows and purples are shiny blues? I can't remember. Looks like the greens acting like a zerg. So yeah, I think green is actually shiny yellow and purples are shiny blues, which means that they'll shoot at you. So the blues, um, you'll see they'll stop and flash yellow. That's right before they shoot. Duly noted. This is I'm. Ah shoot! There we go. Let's just stay alive. Okay. I, I didn't know if you knew this. You should stay alive. Oh, I don't know what the red does. That that red thing around you? I think that's a bar that a of how. Uh, no, that's a bar of how high my um. Yeah, yo, yeah. are you alive? That's experience. That's yeah. awesome. Oh shoot, I came back and didn't realize it. Yeah, and then I'm dead again. Nice. Yeah, because the respawning is I'm not used to it. Like that's that's new. Um, you didn't respawn in uh, in the SGC demo. Huh? 
I got level two. You just came in in time. Oh. Oh my god, this is this, the, rock, the rocket launcher actually feels like really underpowered. Yeah. When you get when you get to higher levels though, and there's and you're firing three rockets at once, it's really nice. But yeah, it's definitely, especially when you're on your own. Fuck okay, it. I'm firing two rockets right now. Did you fail? I tried. It didn't work. It won't let me go without it, you. It goes after a while, I think. Or maybe you do need to get them all in there. Oh, we're dead. <laughs> well, we're definitely going another round now. Yeah. Uh, so rocket laser, bad idea. Bad idea. Worked that one out Surpri ourselves. Surprisingly bad idea. <laughs> Um, um okay, I'm gonna go back shotgun, I like it. I'm gonna go with machine gun. I, I really like machine gun. I don't know. Alright. Uh reload to the next level, please understand. Oh. Oh, I'm sad now. Wow. Yep. Oh, this game goes serious. Yep. Shoot, I died. Shoot, I just... ro shoot robots to pay respects. You don't know that meme, do you? Nope. Uh Call of Duty, I think, um Advanced Warfare. They had a thing where you went to a funeral. Of like one of the soldiers, and it's like it might have been Black Ops too. I can't remember because I didn't play Call of Duty. Um, but they it was like a cutscene. It was a quick time event. You go up to it, and it's like press F to pay respects, <laughs> like at the grave, and it's nice. just like good. Finally, that, that, that's how that's how you do a well. That's how you do a well written died again. emotional cutscene. Jesus, you know you're supposed to get close to them. You're not supposed to touch them. <laughs> I want a high five. Hey, uh, devs, uh, Triverse. That's the that's the that's the thing. I think it's supposed to be Triverse, kind of like Try and Diverse, because I think it's a three-man studio. Might be a two-man studio. I, guess, I don't know. But Try, V-E-R-S-E-R-K-E. -E -E. T-R-I, I should say. Try, not T-R-Y. It's the Try like three, not like Try Hard. Alternatively, Try Hard with the T-R-I would be a great name for a three-man studio. Yeah. Or three-man band. Yeah, we should do that. <laughs> Let's make a three-man band with you and me and Colby. Maybe and everything he plays. <laughs> I'll play the ocarina. You'll play the guitar. Colby will play Zelda. Colby, Colby will play. Colby will play Fallout Three. <laughs> and <laughs> and we'll um and we'll be a band. Hey, it sounds. Like so there's a point system. I don't know if the points do anything for you. Maybe it's like uh Or it might just be a competition thing. I don't know. I always feel point systems and shooters are kinda of outdated. Assholes. Um, fuck these assholes. I got just level. I, I feel I feel like the point system fuck you, existed you back really at the very older. beginning of arcades because we needed they were like, What do you do in games? Well you score in games and whoever has the highest score wins. So it like carried over. Died. Oh, you died? Oh Jesus. We'll see another one. <laughs> Alright. Mm -hmm. Um God this is addicting. Alright. You know. uh, <laughs> um Go back to machine gun. Double machine gun. Double machine gun. <laughs> Double machine gun. <laughs> Except don't get hit, Miles. Hey. <laughs> just because oh! it's true doesn't mean you have to say it. Double Rambo. <sighs> Twimbo. Worth the level up. Oh, to get hit, I didn't level up because I lost points for dying. I think you lose crystals if you get hit too, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I, you do. I, I don't just go around getting hit on purpose. <laughs> Unlike some people. It's fun. I'm addicted. <laughs> I have a problem. I like getting hit. I know I know it's not good for me. Stuck in an abusive relationship with circuit breakers. Yep. Um uh, but I just I don't know, I think it's very polished. Um if you haven't heard of this, which I think most people haven't, check it out on Greenlight. I think it's honestly more helpful to check it out on Greenlight and offer your support there and also just show it to your friends. Um and email the studio or tweet the studio if you think it's a good idea and just give them encouragement, because I know when you're an indie studio uh, just knowing that there's somebody out there who thinks you're doing a good job is really goddamn nice. Because uh, there's a lot of games out there, and so it's hard to get seen. So yeah, if you like what you see, yeah, if you like what you see, go give Trivers a thumbs up. Go give this a vote on Greenlight. Uh, I would like to see this finished. I think that they've got a phenomenal grasp of uh, game design, and they're very passionate. Really cool guys uh, who know their stuff and have a lot of fun and I, I don't know I, I have the utmost confidence that if this game gets finished it's going to be astounding because this is just a very small part of what they want to do and this is already a fun game yeah like I would be I, w I would get this I I'd pay like five bucks for this um, like as is but if, once they had a campaign once they had you know more characters once they had more variety to the weapons some kind of progression system um, story, like, there's there's so much they can do. 
that I think would be absolutely fantastic, and I really want to see this succeed. Uh, so this will be our last run. Is there anything else that I need to explore? Oh, so I guess we just stand in here. <laughs> That's new. I haven't. That, I don't think that room was in the SGC demo. Holy shit! Level three fucking machine guns, man. Yeah, didn't last long, but your level three guns like let you. So when you get to level three, you like want to wait to use it, basically. Actually, it's really interesting. It's like when you you just want to wait to shoot in the first place. Yeah. Until you have like a good. Here we go. Shoot. I wish we could hear this. Just because the music's fantastic. It's not, you know, it's, it's not like, you know, Jake Cough um, or anything. Ah! Get him off! You're welcome. Um, oh, I should mention you can use either the two sticks. Like, you can use either the D pad or the left stick to, uh, to move, and you can use either the right stick or the face buttons to shoot. If you want to shoot in, in you know, diagonals easier, if you want to just shoot your cardinal directions and be more accurate in that sense. Um, it's all good. It's very responsive, though. Huge fan. Cool. I see you, someone is... Oh, you didn't fix that? I told you guys about that typo at SGC. Come on, guys. I see you, someone is finally playing with you. You got, you got, you got one too many U's in there. It's grammatically incorrect. Two out of ten. Bad English. Who are you, K KG and Ifune? Making mighty Gunvolt games, all of them with terrible translations. <laughs> you played Gunvolt, right? Yeah. Mighty Gunvolt 3DS. Yeah, I did. It was the English was so bad. <laughs> yeah. That was some of the worst English I've ever seen. Like that, that was below like the standard NES level of like of English. It, it was astounding. Like you've come so far. How are you doing? You've come so far in Japanese devs like making fools out of themselves. So I double died. machine gun seems to be like a really good idea. Yeah. I actually, I actually went to using the D-pad and, like, face buttons, just, like, I experimented with it, just to see, and I actually ended up, ended up liking it. I feel like I'm extremely more precise. Yeah, I, I like, um... Oh, I'm alive again. I like the joystick for the moving, but I like the, uh... I like these big rooms way more than the tiny rooms. <laughs> yeah. Um... Right. For, for, like, I get my diagonals more precise when I'm using the, I can't the, even uh... get the crystals. There's too many guys to go in and get the crystals. I'm just staying at zero. <laughs> oh! Oh! Yo! Got the repeater Vulcan. I'm saving hey, it. You got all the way to three? Jesus. Yeah. yeah, save that for the next round. Okay, I'm up to two. Is that all the that's all the blues? Yeah. Jesus. Room four? That's nice, I guess. Thanks, bro. Fuck you! You know, I took back everything I said about this game. Fuck you guys. So you wanna like fire off a couple rounds, get crystals, fire off a couple rounds again. Just so that yeah, way it's more effective. I'm still three? Nope, lost it. Okay. <laughs> I was three for a little bit. I was trying. Crystals! Don't come up. that faster than your average direction. I don't know what I'm... <laughs> I'm sorry, competitive, like, co-op co competitive games just fucking... Just games like this. It's, 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 I mean, it's, it's in some ways like a mindless shooter and really fun in just the way that mindless shooters are. Um, but you also have stuff to, like, take care of and, like, manage. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's, it's cool because, like, you have to manage the flow of them, like, Zerg Rush style, no, while also dead. managing your energy. I Shit. died. Shit. There you go. And how. Double machine gun is actually um, really effective so far. Yeah. I think actually adding slight variations on machine guns would be really interesting too. Um, kind of like what Splatoon does. With just slight variations on a, on a weapon type that changes the entire way it's played. Like if there's a machine gun that had more spread oh. and one that Damn shot it. in a straight line. We missed the blue box. Um, if there was a shotgun that was rapid fire. Um... Yeah, shotgun that was rapid fire, but a little bit weaker, or something. <laughs> oh died. shit! Oh, we both died. <laughs> All right, so I think it's it for now. All right. So yeah, like it's just st stellar game. Um, yeah. I think it's I think it's a lot of fun. Um, it's my first time picking it up, so uh, yeah, my first impression was it was a blast and a half. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Uh, so yeah, go to Greenlight. Let them know that uh, you know you want to see this happen. If you want to see this happen, go to the Kickstarter. Uh, and, you know, support it if you want, just to show support. Uh, it's looking like it's probably... Let's, let's actually... Let's, let's take a look at the Kickstarter right now and see. Um, yeah, they're about a fifth of the way there with five days to go. It, they only want 5,000, so it's... Honestly, it's not impossible, but it would take somebody giving this exposure, and that's, and that's really the hard thing. It's just they haven't been seen, mm -hmm. um, which is unfortunate. So if you, if you have the chance... 
please just let, let them know that you've seen this and you like this and you want them to keep making it. Just encourage them if, if you want to see this game happen. Because with online co-op especially, this would be insanely fun. Yeah. Um, and I would love to play this online with you guys. It, it's it's fun. Like, it's it's a nice mix-up of the shoot-em-up genre. I feel like it breathes new life into it. It's cool. 